Hello, I'm Professor Stephen Abbott. Welcome to the third video in the series about the spreadsheets that accompany nanocoatings, principles and practice. In this video we'll look at one fairly simple one which is all about clay barriers. Clay barriers are very fashionable because they hold the promise of good barrier properties for relatively low levels of a relatively cheap raw material like clay. It's not quite as simple as that and many people have been very disappointed with barrier performance. I have to define two things. The first is the aspect ratio which is width over thickness L over D and obviously a good clay particle has a very large width and a very thin thickness and this order parameter S which varies from minus a half when they're all aligned vertically through zero when they're aligned randomly and one when they're all aligned horizontally which of course is when you get the best barrier properties. We can show the effect of these parameters and the percent clay on the permeability in these two complementary graphs. At the top we define an aspect ratio from an L and a D so let's say that we have badly exfoliated our clay and have 0.05 so not a very high aspect ratio only 20 and we see that Obviously for the ones that are aligned badly we have to add a lot of clay to reduce permeability but even when we have perfect alignment like this and when we have 30% clay we haven't reduced the permeability all that much. We're down to something like 18% from the original and we don't really want to add 30% so you really need this very high aspect ratio of clay say an aspect ratio of 100 and now when you add 30% clay you're down to very low levels. Similarly we can look at how the aspect ratio affects things in the second plot. So assuming we've got the well aligned S equals 1 then when the aspect ratio equals 1 i.e. spherical particles when we've added 12% we've only reduced the permeability by about 20%. So spherical particles are very poor at providing barriers. And when we have a good aspect ratio equals 100, a decent clay, then by the time we've added 12%, we're down to less than 10% of the original permeability. So achieving this is hard. You need to have the high aspect ratio and well dispersed clays. You can freely download this spreadsheet and explore the workbook, but we hope it will encourage you to read the book where all these things are described in more detail.